So I crawled out of bed this morning, and eventually, after all my alarms went off, <laughs> and I edited, and I was getting all ready to leave, because I gotta pick up my parents from the airport, and then I was like, I should actually, you know, go online and check, like, their flight schedule and all that stuff. Turns out their flight was delayed about two hours, so, yeah. I guess I got up for nothing? I could have slept a lot more. I could have slept an extra, like, two hours. But I'm up now, and I'll just, I'll keep an eye on, um, their flight, if it updates, if they're gonna fly the plane faster to try and make up for lost time. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, at least I'm, I'm ready to go when they get here. Morning. We're going on an adventure! Arch from my face. Are you excited? <laughs> so we're going to the airport now. We're going to pick Sean's parents up. Their flight has been, they, was delayed, so it's a lot later than what we were expecting to go drive to get them, but that's okay. We at least knew about it in advance and didn't drive there thinking they were landing and then having to wait an extra two hours, but so we're headed to the airport, stopping off for some gas to make sure we have enough to travel all the way there. And then we're going. Archer's coming too because he wants to see them. Right, Archer? Because we're just going to go to the arrivals, little pickup place. Hopefully they'll be there and text us saying they're ready for us. And then we'll go, we'll grab them, and then we'll drive off into the sunset. Because um, you're not allowed to stay in arrivals long or you get in trouble. And we don't want to pay to just park this car, go in, grab them, and then leave. So trying for a speedy pickup. We'll see. Look who has returned. The Yay. people. Here. We managed to find them at the airport <coughs> area, which was good. <laughs> Had to drive around for a bit because they don't let you just like park there for obvious reasons. But yeah, I didn't get lost. John got lost. I didn't get lost. Because inst I said, instead of just looping around, why don't I just drive up the highway a little bit, take an exit, and then just find a place to just kind of park there. So, uh, yeah, I got lost. Maybe a little bit. I kind of knew pretty much where I was going. No, you didn't. I knew the direction I had to go. I just didn't know what roads <laughs> to take. But I found my way back to the airport at the right time, which yeah. was good. So, Were you outside waiting long when you saw us? <laughs> didn't help that their uh, cell phone had died, mm -hmm. so then they weren't able to contact me without, you know, borrowing someone else's phone. Um, so it was just kind of like, oh, I just kind of have to figure out when to be there. So yeah, it was good that I didn't go at, like, you know, three hours ago when their plane was initially supposed to land. So yeah, now they are home. And they can enjoy a whole other week of vacation without us around because we're going to be at your house. My house. Hi, Archer. Can you talk too? Yeah, can you talk, Archer? Can you be intelligent? Can you have a high IQ? A Harvard degree? Yeah. Valid dog tutorian. Valid dog tutorian. Archer. <laughs> and then he would adopt you. No. No? He'd still be your son? Yeah. You'd adopt me. No. Because then you'd be like my grandma. <laughs> we watched Mr. <laughs> Peabody and Sherman and it was a wonderful movie and I loved it so much. And me, like my opinion of the movie. Doesn't matter was actually that it was really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I, going into the movie, I was like, eh. Eh. Like, like I even really didn't want to go to the movie theater to but see it. But I wanted to see it. But Lydia wanted to see it, so I was me. like, okay. If you pay for my ticket. And I did. <laughs> and I was 
quite impressed. It was a very, very good movie. It's super amazing. But I mean, it's from the people that made um, How to Train Your Dragon. Yep. And was it the director of The Lion King or something? I don't know. Anyways, it's DreamWorks is good. It's it was really good a because movie. like kids can enjoy it. Um, but there was a lot of like historical humor for like the adults. There was some dirty humor in there too, yeah. like poop and pee and boobs. <laughs> it's like look a booby trap. He's like, <laughs> you said booby. <laughs> Because that, a lot of that, that humor funny. is for kids. It is, I know it's for kids, but it's also, <laughs> for, but maybe For I, immature adults? Yeah, for immature adults, yeah. I, no, it was a really lovely story. Yeah. And I cried. It was so good and so... And I totally didn't cry. He cried. I did not cry. You did cry. I, I, I might, there, no. He cried. I 100% did not cry. You 100% cried, stop lying. I, I did this. You sucked like, the tears back? Yeah. So you cried? Yes. Yeah. I guess. It was, it was so good. good. It was good I'm movie. a dog too. I'm a dog too. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a really, really good movie, yeah. A lot of good like historical references. A lot of A lot of good puns. A lot of fun puns and just little jokes, political humor. Uh <laughs> And, like, lots of interesting voices. I mean, yeah. there was... I can't remember who played, like, the... Like, um, Mr. Peabody and Sherman. But, like, Mel Brooks was in it very briefly. Patrick Warburton is in it. Um, other people <laughs> whose names I can't remember. Oh, well. Anyways... <laughs> I, I just, I'm kind of blanking on people's names right now, Doesn't but matter. it was good. Lots of recognizable, recognizable voices, and it's unlike just, my own. It's very sweet. It was a really good movie. It was really entertaining. Arthur's going crazy upstairs because <laughs> yeah. we're talking about a dog. It's like you're talking about another dog. Fine, I'm gonna go get a Harvard ed ed educate. I need to get an education because I can't speak. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> oh, ed 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 education. Education. Edumacation. Edumacation. Yeah, so Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Go watch it. Go watch it. It's actually a really good movie. I want to watch it again. Yeah, right after we walked out of the theater, I'm like, what do you want to do right now? She's like, can we watch it again? It's like, no. Yes. No, we can't. Can we watch well, it Well, we can, again? but not right now. <laughs> Tomorrow? <laughs> if you want to go and watch it tomorrow, you can. But I won't go this time. Okay. Okay? Maybe Rachel will go watch it with Maybe you. Maybe Rachel will go watch it with you. Or I'll sneak Arthur in. Yeah. You no! and Arthur are gonna... <laughs> So, yes, my parents are home safe and sound. After getting them from the airport, they had a lot of fun. Lydia and I. Uh, watched their little slideshow of their pictures that they took while they were on vacation. And we just chatted about all the fun things. And ate Chinese food, which was yummy. So that was good. We had a fun evening. And they seemed to have had a fun vacation. And now they get a whole other week of kind of vacation. <laughs> Kind of like we have a vacation this week and last week. So, that's all fun stuff. As you can tell, I'm really tired. I had to stay up to get Rachel from work because she works super late on Saturdays, obviously. As you can see, it's late and I am very, very tired. And I'm going to go to bed because I can't play any more Nino Kuni. <laughs> Playing too much Nino Kuni. The thing is, there's like one small thing left to do in the game. Because we beat like the, all like the special 
bosses and like the super secret final boss thing which was cool because after you beat it you get a car to drive around the world map which is just funny and actually awesome <laughs> um, so just right now what I'm doing is this like last quest thing that we need to do to check off the list and that's it's an alchemy quest so what I have to do is I have to find rare monsters or familiars or whatever they're called find them and then I have to hopefully try and get their rare items so it's just like I mean the chances of finding that creature is low in the first place and then the chances of getting them to drop or me being able to steal that item from them is also low so it's like super low chance of getting what I want and it's tedious and it's made me sleepy also because it's two o'clock in the morning that that's why I'm sleepy too <sighs> anyways I gotta go to bed okay Okay. Good night. You're my favorite dog, Arthur. You're my favorite. It was just a really sweet story. You're in my top five. Ow. <laughs> Silly butt.